You ever want to go fast? Doesn't everyone have that dream as a kid? Rushing down a desert road in some sports car like a Ferrari or Lamborghini. Wind rushing through your hair, going so fast all the other cars look like a big blur. It's the feeling of freedom. Like when Jesse Owens said about running, it's seeing out new sights just on the strength of your feet and the courage of your lungs. We all love that feeling of letting go, like the big drop on a roller coaster. Some make it their profession. Think about astronauts. I mean, for a rocket ship to get into orbit, it needs to go 17,600 miles per hour. We as humans love that feeling, and we've come so far to achieve it. But how is it that while a rocket can go that fast, a small population from the cat family can easily outrun any human in all of Earth's history? That's right! Usain Bolt's fastest speed is rounded to 45 kilometers per hour. And the cat in question that can beat him? The cheetah. The cheetah can run up to 120 kilometers per hour. For those hard of mathing, that's nearly triple the speed of the fastest human. And this is normal for the cheetah. Cars were invented to make humans travel faster. But even on the highway, sometimes you can't accelerate fast enough when merging and you get a couple honks and a mean look. A cheetah can reach over 100 kilometers per hour in just three seconds. What can you do in three seconds? Tie a shoe? Bite an apple? Trip while running to the bus? Yeah, not that impressive. Cheetahs also have a 25-foot stride. On average, the human stride is about 2.5 feet. We're really losing out here, humans. I say we band together. Let's hit that like button and subscribe. Now, all these speeds and distances sound almost impossible. Superhuman, even. Or super cheetah. But it all comes down to how cheetahs are built. Cheetahs have tiny little heads, a flattened rib cage, and slender legs for a more aerodynamic build. It helps them kind of like how shaving body hair helps swimmers. No, Phelps was not naturally born that hairless. They've also got pivoting hips and a flexible spine. And you? You feel sore just from sleeping weird. Cheetah's shoulder blades aren't attached to their collarbones as well. All this helps the cheetah move around with ease. Because of their ability to leap 25 feet, cheetahs actually spend more time in the air than with their feet on the ground. And their foot pads are like tires. They're born to go fast. Anyone chasing an Olympic gold medal and an endorsement by Disney or Gatorade might think that being a cheetah is all it's cracked up to be. But get this. After 30 seconds of super cheetah speed, the cheetah must take a rest. An extreme and continuous burst of exertion like that can lead to brain damage. So you can tell your friends you could beat a cheetah in a race, as long as it's a long-distance race. In fact, cheetahs often lose their killed prey before eating because a bigger animal will come along while the cheetah rests. Such a specific skill like extreme speed can actually mean downfall for a species. This is called an overspecialization, and it means cheetahs have this incredibly amazing skill, but can't really do much else. An overspecialization can often lead to extinction. A prime example of this is the giant panda. They're considered an overspecialized species because they only eat bamboo. Once bamboo is gone, so is the panda. And that can happen. Poor panda, they're so cute when they sneeze, I really don't want to see them go. So, we can't outrun a cheetah. But what can we do? What are we bred for if not for speed? Well, look around. We're bred for smarts, compassion, progress, technology, art, science, the past, present, the future, all of it. Now, a lot of people may not use all this potential for good, but ultimately, we are capable of all these things. And a cheetah, well, it can go fast. Okay, enough with the savvy stuff. So, since we've been bred for discovery and research, here's what we know about the cheetah. Cheetahs have survived nearly two extinctions. And because their trait of speed can be so easily passed down, it's assumed this occurred because of inbreeding. This is also proved by the fact that cheetahs have less than 5% of genome diversity of other cats. The average house cat comes in all shapes and sizes. You got your fat, fluffy ones, your thin, sneaky ones. You got your striped cats that probably go through your drawers at night. But cheetahs are all built the same. Their face markings are all different, similar to our fingerprints. But other than that, they are eerily close to each other in DNA, almost like natural clones. So, be thankful that you're not a cheetah. For one thing, it means your parents weren't related. And despite the fact that these majestic creatures are amazing at what they do, they're just not made for as many things as humans are made for. 
Even other animals can do various things. Elephants can be ridden, they can paint, and pick up garbage. A dog can be your best friend or sniff out drugs at an airport. As long as we keep trudging ahead with what we're good at, the cheetah will keep awing us with their incredible speed. Now, just pray that one of your multiple abilities isn't waking up as a gazelle, because then the cheetah will really show you what it's got.